Hi. <laughs> I'm Ebony. And I'm Scarlett. And we think that having a lab in our school encourages girls to be into science more. Uh, and it, if we waited for TV to, to encourage us more, then we'd be waiting for a very, very long time. See, and this, Scarlett's going to tell you some science shows that if they have boys or girls based on it. So, Brainiac, well, Richard Hammond hosts that, and most of the contestants on that show are boys. It's once in a blue moon, you'll ever see a girl enter it. And the Big Bang Theory, there's four men, and there's only, like, three three girls, and they're, they're like, either assistants or girlfriends. Um, with Richard Hammond's Blast Lab, um, with that, um, most of it, it, the boys are interested in it, but most of the time girls aren't really interested in it because it's, pro because it's aimed at boys, it's not aimed at girls. Phineas and Ferb, two boys, they're doing the science and there's only the sisters who are trying to stop them for science and the, the other girl, the Isabella. girl, Isabella, who is basically only. in love with them, so that's the only reason she hangs out with them. She's not interested in science at all. She just wants to play with them and basically wants to try and become the sister. Um, with Lab Rats, again, that's hosted um, by Richard Hammond, and it's and with all the assistants that he tests on that, it's once in a blue moon that you will see a girl on it. Nina and the Neurons, well, that's sort of ang angled and for toddlers so we would it's on CBeebies so we would be watching that unless we had a little brother or sister and we find it so boring that we switch the channel and also the woman that hosts it woman but when you find out what gender the neurons are They're there's only like two girls and then the other three are boys um with Despicable Me um, the evil scientist, the evil scientist Drew is, is a, man. a man, and the other three girls, they're like only adopted, and they're not into science. At they're all. not into science at all. And the, all, all the other scientists, all the other, other scientists, people. are men. They're not females. And the minions, <laughs> men. <laughs> Little short yellow men. <laughs> in the gadget show, there is a girl host, but then the rest are boys. And most of the gadgets are aimed at boys. It's not like phones or anything. Um, most of it's stuff like computers and that. Uh, Dick and Dom, absolute genius. There's two pe two men, Dick and Dom, obviously. And there's Fran, who like comes up every now and again to explain things to Dick and Dom. But sometimes it's based on... Um, girls occasionally but then like most of it is all men scientists who invent stuff and it's the theories of men like newton and einstein and stuff like that and there i think in one of the series there's only like one invention that's actually made by a girl yeah like i've, I've seen only one episode with a girl and that was doctor who the um i can't remember her name but she made the theme tune of doctor who uh, D Delia Derbyshire, that's it, Delia Derbyshire. <laughs> um, Go Wild, um, Naomi Wilkinson's on that, but then the other two hosts on that are boys. Um, and most of the things, it's stuff like climbing trees, well, girls aren't exactly interested in climbing trees. I am, but not all of them are. Basically, tomboys, they're basically like climbing trees. <laughs> not doing it. So, with our Lab 13, um, more girls were interested because when in our normal, before Lab 13, in our normal lessons, we didn't exactly enjoy science because no. teachers, they just told you what was going to happen and then, then made you do it. And well, you're like, it's, what? It's Why not make us do it? You know, you've told us the answer, it's pointless doing the experiment now. The whole point of an experiment is then actually finding the answer. However, with our Lab 13, we experiment but the answer's not obvious, so so we have to find out with all the resources that we're given. And then 
we record it and Miss Hogan, she helps a little with little clues and she pretends she doesn't know the answer so, so that we, we can find it out for ourselves. Bye. Bye.